Wild rats are known as one of the deadliest pests in Malaysia. The study shows an abundance of wild rats infestation in urban areas. This is because elevated number of human population causes poor practice of sanitization and poor control and eradication program. It can cause structural damage to our property by chewing electrical wires and causing fires. It plays a role as a major reservoir host and carrier for zoonotic diseases such as leptospirosis, also known as kencing tikus, salmonellosis, and tuberculosis. Two main types of wild rats cause concern in Malaysia. The first one, the brown rat, also known as common rat. And second one is the black rat, also known as sewer rats. Wild rats infestation can be really a real nuisance and disaster to us. Lure and trap is a great solution to control and eradicate wild rats with zero cost. It comprises control tools that can be created from recycled items such as plastic bottles, pail, and other home waste. These are very easy to do it yourself, safe, eco-friendly, effective, and practical. There are few criterias to design and effective control tools. Firstly, the design must follow behaviors of common wild rats. For instance, black rats are good climbers while brown rats are great burrowers and swimmers and both are great knowers. Secondly, strategic location. Once we have designed the tools, observe the signs of rats in and outside of the building to locate the tools. For example, areas of rat dropping, areas of rat bite marks, areas of rat rub marks, and footprints, running tracks, or redness. Here we design three types of control tools. The first one is climb and fall into the pail house. The second one is burrow the bottle trap. And the third one is simple red bait. Since we are in laboratory animal facility, we would like to demonstrate how we lure and trap using our breeder rodents, which is Sprock Daily. We also provide mouse pellet to lure and attract them to the trap. For the first one, climb and fall into the pail house. We will use broken pail and plastic cover as a trap house and polystyrene bowl as entrance door. Then, we will put some metal grill and pepper box for the rats to climb the pail bed. For the second design, bureau the bottle trap, we use 9.5 liter mineral bottle as a trap house and half of 500 milliliter mineral bottle as entrance door. The entrance door needs to be cut into this in order for the rats to burrow into the big bottle trap. And for the last design, simple rat bay, we just use one 500ml mineral bottle, cut it into half and make the entrance door just like this in order for the rat to trap inside. Voila! The result shows that we managed to lure and attract our rodents to the tools. With the three types of the design, we can easily trap them inside. It is a new designated control tools to eradicate wild rats anywhere and everywhere. We can put the trap tools in-house, backyard, school, restaurant, office building, laboratory house, farm, and so forth. Hence, it helps to prevent property damage which can disrupt the business operation 
and financial losses to business owners. It is useful to prevent disease transmission to humans and animals. It will also save the cost of treatment for infected humans or pets or farm animals. Moreover, it is very eco-friendly and safe for us. We can reduce the usage of rodenticides and poisons in the environment which pose a greater threat of exposure to children, pets and wild animals. These new designated control tools have great potential not only for laboratory animal facilities but also for houses, business owners, pets owners and farm owners. Hence, Lure and Trap is the best approach to formulate a control program for wild rats infestation. With that, thank you.